Hi, I am Faisal and in this video I will teach you how to download and install VS Code and then we'll use uh, Python from VS Code. What is VS Code? VS Code stands for uh, Visual Studio Code. It is basically a text editor from Microsoft and it is used to write coding. It has plugins and with the help of those plugins, uh, you can add functionality to that code editor. In short, it uh, helps you to write better Python codes. It helps you to highlight the issues and problems. It helps you to have better focus to write your code very easily. So uh, let's download it. Let's go to now this time I'll go to VS Code. So I will search for VS Code. This is Visual Studio Code. So from that I will press the uh, download button. Code.visualstudio.com slash download. And I want to download it for Windows. You can download it on any hardware like any CPU with 4 GB RAM. The recommended is uh, Core i7 and 8 GB RAM. Why? Uh, because uh, with this hardware configuration your apps will not lag they will load as soon as you start your computer and recommended operating system is at least uh, windows 10 you can have windows 11 but at least windows 10 so go to download and from the download here vs code is started this download process it is downloaded let's go to the download folder the download size is 85.9 megabytes if it is less than this this means your download file is incomplete and your setup will not run you need to have a complete installation file so let's double click this and open it accept this is the agreement from microsoft it is mit license basically this is license for open source you can check the source code of Visual Studio Code. Accept this and press next. Path. Accept the default path. Just like Python, it is installed in a user name, app data, local programs, and then Microsoft VS Code. It will take 344.0 megabyte of space. Press next. It will create our menu with the name you want keep the default name press next keep these option as per default don't change them press next then press install installation is started it is extracting the files and that's it the installation is complete there is launch here so press finish and after finish the vs code will launch so here we have the visual studio code is open let's make it big you can change color theme many programmers they prefer dark theme because they look at screen without blinking and when you look at a bright screen uh, for a long time it may hurt your eyes so what they do most of a programmer they keep their screen black this is what i also prefer i'll keep the default theme if you want to change you can change that let's press next section here we have uh, some playground where we can play with code so want to code faster and smarter practice powerful code editing feature in interactive playground basically uh, vs code has added some features with the help of which you can code very fast fast coding is basic feature of vim editor there is another editor which is also known as vim editor vs code is trying to prove itself to be just like vim or better than vim they have added features with the help of which you can code faster you can check this thing but you can check that later as well so i'll go next side by side editing what is that that you have opened two views or two different uh, windows and you are editing you have split the editor and after splitting you are editing two files or 
you are having two views of the same documents or you have two versions of the of the same document so the shortcut is split you can click on that there are two options vertically or horizontally better to have it vertically let's have a split editor already is split it so this step is one view and this second let's close this one to track your code with uh, git set up built-in version control for your project to track your changes and collaborate with other so basically it will help you to create a git for your projects so let's have a clone of repository here provide url which you want to clone okay so what the clone means that you go to github website you find a project and you provide here the path of that project which you want to copy with you and which you want to work on and finally you can have uh, shortcuts to work with you can learn about shortcuts basically this means control new control open alt r so you use control k control s these are different shortcuts you can check keyboard shortcuts what is for if delete also control x for saving control s mark done we can get started with vs code to learn more about it we can work on fundamentals or we can open some project i've already created a python file you can open that and check it better that you should have a python file and you open the python file i created uh, a file uh, let me show you i have created a file hello.py if you open this it has just one command edit print hello world okay so i will open this file it is available on this path i'll copy this path copy and then come here open paste it here and open hello.py it says that do you want to allow untrusted file in this windows you are trying to open untrusted file in a window if you don't want to open untrusted file we recommend to open them in restricted mode in new window as the file may be malicious see our documentation so basically this means that uh, you should not open some file which has hidden virus inside you can open them in restricted mode but actually this is file which i have my, uh, created by myself and i trust it it is just one line of code i'll say open the file is open uh, the moment i open my file it is recommending me to install python extension when this extension is installed it will recognize python so i'll say install what it says it says that uh, install this python and what this thing is it is a python extension from microsoft i think it has uh, started installation what it will do it will give me suggestions as i start typing it will lint my code it will highlight my code different keywords will be highlighted it will help me in debugging the jupyter notebook will be installed as well let's go back to hello.py let's try to run this code how you can run this code over here you are looking at play button in fact you have three options run the code debug the code debug means remove the errors and run code in interactive window so let's let's run this file a terminal is open and here we have our display of output this powershell this is the python installation before using your vs code you should install python first then you should install your vs code look at debug later it will be covered in lecture of debugging so let's run python interactively let's see what happens so here we have interactive first lo access after lo access it is it is telling me to run it interactively i need interactive python i need to install that say install 
is uh, asking me to install Jupyter extension. The Jupyter is being installed. Interactive Python is another Python package uh, in which the Python does not run as a whole file. Now it is installed. What happened is that print command was executed and this is the result with me. And this is the interactive window. I can try other code here in the interactive window. For example, if I say A is equal to two, B is equal to three, C is equal to A plus B, and then print of C. Let's run all this code interactively. So here we have 0.1 second it took, and here I have answer. Basically, this is like uh, Jupyter. How many variables I have? You can view your variables. It has uh, good options. The three options Python script or HTML file or PDF file. I'll say export as Python. So here a script file is created. Okay. Uh, and in this script file uh, contain one cell. This is the second cell. I can run individual cell. For example, if I say run cell one. It asks me to install another extension. Say so yes. Let's run the second cell. Let's save this file. From file, save. You can save this file as py file. Interactive.py. How this file will be in the text editor. So in the text editor, look like this. So each cell is separated by this comment. When you have hash and something, it is comment. So here when you have hash and double percentage, it means this is comment. You can also create Jupyter file, Jupyter notebook. Let's give it a try. File, new file. Here I select notebook. So here I have now a notebook. I have a lot of windows, so I'll uh, close uh, some of them. I'll close the interactive window, this one. I'll um, also close uh, this hello, this all of them. I'll keep this window only. Now this is a Jupyter Notebook file. White is black because my theme is black. The commands will remain same. You can then run command here. Same command, hello. Run it. Let me go for Python environment. And from Python environment, let me use the, the recommended one. Python 11, this one, and it worked. Now let me add some text here. The beauty of a notebook is that in notebook you can type text. Like you can type questions, question for the mass M equals three AG. You can type question. You can create an cell and this cell should be a Code cell, and then you can type f is equal to m static a, and then finally you can print f is equal to brackets f. It works. Tables you created. You can look for problem. You can look for Jupyter variables, and these are the variables which I have. You can close this window if you don't want to see. And here I have uh, a notebook file. You can also save your notebook file uh, from file, save, and give it a name. It should have IPYNB extension. And by default, it will take this extension. Uh, and give it a name, hello, IPYNB, and save it. Okay, one thing more, VS Code from command prompt. Here I have open command prompt. And here I'm on my user path. So how to open VS Code? Let me close this VS Code. I don't have any VS Code open. And write down code. And when you type code, the VS Code will open. From here, you can open folder. I'll open this lab one folder. And from lab one, I can, okay. So do you trust the authors of the files in this folder? Yes, I trust. I created it and I trust it. Here there are some walkthroughs, some helps which you can click and it can help you. You can open back the files you created. 
you know, so open text files. So I will I will open the last file which I created notebook file. It is opening. It took some time and now it is open. So that's it. I hope you learned something new. In case if you already know about these things, and I'm also hopeful that uh, you have learned how to install VS Code and how to use VS Code if you didn't knew this before. Thank you. In case if you have any question, you can ask in the comment section.